So I'm not watching a ton of anime this season, unfortunately enough. Partially because I'm really lacking in time and also because, well, there aren't many shows I consider to be good coming out this season. Sure, we have Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan, but I find everything else to be somewhat lacking. Yet despite only watching a few anime, one of the ones I have been actively watching, weirdly enough, is World's End Harem. Now, originally, I picked up this anime because it looked like a trash, etchy anime with nothing but fan service, which would be great for my Discord's Trash Tuesdays. But as I continued watching this anime, something kind of hit me. This anime is kind of good. I don't know, maybe the word good is a bit too much, but it is better than I was expecting. The anime follows two separate plot lines. Mizuhara, who is the A plot, or the main plot, and Shota, who is the B plot. Basically, the anime follows these two characters who both caught a super deadly disease, and the only way to save their lives was to put them into a sleep stasis for five or so years. When Mizuhara wakes up, he's briefed on the situation pretty quickly. Basically, while in stasis, a disease that kills only men spread throughout the world and killed all of the men. Only those who were in stasis lived. And unfortunately, artificial insemination doesn't work and, well, there is only one confirmed way to create the next generation. I'll let you guys guess. But instead of it being this anime where Mizuhara just goes on a spree, he actually refuses to mate with any women and chooses to dedicate his time to find a proper cure for the virus since there is still a chance that it could kill him within a year. Oh yeah, and he just happened to be a virologist beforehand. Obviously, there is a lot of etchy moments, but most of the time, this show really does focus on this plot and this huge conspiracy. It's surprisingly well done. Like I said, maybe not good, but much better than I thought. But where I think this could be changed into probably one of the best etchy anime of all time is with the B plot. So Shoda is the new main character we are introduced to in episode three. Basically, he has a pretty screwed up childhood and obviously catches the same disease Mizuhara had and has to go into stasis for five years. But there is a difference. They do tell Shota that basically most men are dead, but they leave out a lot of details and send him to a select school. There, they basically build his confidence and more or less start tricking him into having sex with as many girls as possible. And basically, after a while, he notices that something smells fishy. I didn't even mean to make that joke. Anyway, he basically finds out that the entire high school is a front to try and trick him into sleeping with as many girls as possible, and that's kind of the last time we've seen him. So this is a really good concept that I feel like the writer didn't properly workshop because this B plot could be its own amazing anime. Hear me out, I wanna really rewrite this just so you guys can get, like, get a gist of how much you could do with a really cool plot line like this. First, obviously, cut the entire A plot out. Mizuhara is cool and all, but it's kind of turning into a generic, we must take down the world government based story. We instead start with Shota just waking up from his stasis instead of originally starting with his messed up backstory. Same thing, he wakes up, but this time he's not briefed on anything. The female nurse just tells him a lot has changed in the past five years. Technology has advanced a lot, so to get him accustomed to it, they are going to send him to a specialized high school with other children who have been through something similar and also need to be caught up. Keep in mind, you wouldn't tell your audience what exactly is going on either, leaving a lot of things vague and up in the air. Also, still have Kamiya be his assistant to help him get accustomed, but never really tell him that. Then the story just basically plays out the same way. Have the class filled with only girls and never acknowledge it. Have his teacher come on to him. And of course, Kamiya could be used as almost this horror protagonist, always eerily right behind him and watching. I think it could lead to a lot of great horror, suspense, and mystery. To start the anime off with him literally having the time of his life. He's making friends, having girls actually chase after him, getting laid a decent bit, and maybe occasionally 
drop in some backstory here and there about how messed up his life was beforehand. Slowly build up these subtle hints that something is seriously wrong with the school. Maybe one day, one of the girls he slept with just vanishes and is replaced by a new girl. And when he brings it up, it gets dismissed as not important and everyone gives him clearly made up answers about why she left and who the new girl is. Then maybe have the process repeat a few times as he's trying to figure it out. All while Kamiya just eerily watches over him and tries to sleep with him as well. I could see it being this great red herring where he thinks Kamiya is a yandere killing off any girl he sleeps with. And one day, the teacher he had genuine feelings for is finally the one who vanishes. This is what pushes him over the line and he makes a break for it, escaping the school. Only to see the world in ruin and only women living in it. Obviously, he gets dragged back and gets told the truth. These women who have vanished are the ones he's knocked up. And basically, it could be this huge twist as he finally figures out what is going on in the world. This is just a rough idea, but like I said, this could be the first seriously good etchy mystery anime. I could vividly imagine him walking around the empty school contemplating what is going on and have Kamiya appear out of nowhere and give him vague answers and try to sleep with him. It's just such an unusually good idea to be not only wasted on a B-plot of a show, but also not properly explored. Worlds in Harem could genuinely be something truly incredible, instead of being something I struggle to call good. Thank you for watching.